So um, how does how's child welfare structured in Pennsylvania? Every state is different. Um, there is no national child welfare system. It's a series of different states with different policies, different definitions, different structures. Some are statewide systems. Some are county-based systems. New York City has its own system. So everyone has different systems, and it can get you know, confusing. So um, in Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services, which we refer to as DHS, um, they provide oversight to, to county children and youth agencies, the local child welfare systems in all 67 counties in Pennsylvania. So in other words, there are 67 child welfare systems in Pennsylvania. Um, and each of those agencies are responsible for the investigation of reports of suspected child abuse and providing services to families. Um, there's a statewide hotline called Childline um, based in Harrisburg that's administered by DHS and they take all the statewide reports um, and disseminate those to the local counties. So what they do is they screen them to make sure they meet the criteria for child abuse. And if they do, they will refer them on to the county agencies. In addition to that, any of the reports that they receive that, um, that um, are um, criminal acts, that are of criminal acts, they will refer to local law enforcement so they can start a concurrent criminal investigation. Um, each county has a multidisciplinary investigative team, which is comprised about of the different disciplines that all interact in these kids' lives. And they're convened to coordinate the investigations between the county child welfare agencies in law enforcement. And that's really important because you can have one come in the way of the other, or you can have um, things fall through the cracks. And if you didn't have a coordination, you have a problem. That's one of the things that the task force identified. And um, Childline can take reports 24 hours a day, seven days a week, by phone, or as a professional, you can make the report online. And once you make a report online, you are registered as a mandated reporter, and you don't have to, if you have a, su a subsequent report to make on a, a different child, different situation, you're already in their system, so it makes it easier to report. And you don't have to be um, on the phone for a really long time. Um, who's made a report within the past year in this room? Okay. Um, out of you, out of people who have made them by phone, have you had problems getting through and having reports taken? It's not problematic. At the time of the task force, calls were getting dropped. One out of 10, I believe, calls were just getting dropped, either not answered or disconnected or people got tired of waiting. So that's a case that didn't get reported. That's appalling. So they really did their best in terms of changing that, hiring additional people, training people, um, looking at who was answering the phones and working on that so those experiences weren't as, as difficult for reporters. In addition to that, by adding the option to report online, that reduced the numbers of calls. So that was one of the efforts that they made um, to make the, the process a bit easier. 